Good morning. Here we are back in the southern district of uh, Shenandoah National Park at the Madison Run Trailhead. And today we're going to go in there and hike uh, Furnace Mountain and Hall Mountain. Um, it is, I don't know, maybe 55 degrees, a little, a little cool. Um, and it's wet. It just rained. I hope that the rain can uh, stay away for the next few hours, but we'll see. We're here to do it regardless of what the weather is, so let's do it. Furnace Mountain Trail, 0.1 miles. It is mid-April and spring is really starting to pop here in the park. Um, I was here yesterday and I saw all sorts of different animals and uh, let's see what today has in store. I hope we get to see some more cool stuff. Furnace Mountain Trail. We've only gone two tenths of a mile so far. And it looks like we're going to be following Blue Blazes. Since my boots exploded yesterday, I've gone ahead and switched into my uh, Bushido 2 trail runners, which are actually my normal hiking shoes. Uh, <laughs> let's see if they can hold up better today than my boots did yesterday. So we are uh, 50 minutes in, 1.72 miles, and we're gonna head this way up to the summit of Furnace Mountain. So far so good. The trail is, has been well planned. No particularly steep parts. I'm liking it. Moving at a leisurely rate. All right, it's been, I don't know, an hour. I was up at the top, 2.3 miles or so. There is a fantastic, um, you know, view from a large rock up there. Um, there were some people in uh, tents right near the highest point. So I did, I did get in there a little bit and try and tag the top, uh, but it was difficult to really gauge where the highest point was. I'm pretty sure that I stepped on it, but I didn't want to make too much noise as there may have been people still sleeping or something. I don't even know what time it is, but can't believe that would be happening. But they're all wearing underwear and doing nothing, so. Um, yeah, yep, that's one down. Now, now the fun really begins. Bushwhack to Hall Mountain. Hall Mountain. Back at the Furnace Mountain intersection here. Furnace Mountain Trail. We're going that way. So we're about an hour and 45 minutes in, 3.75 miles. Um, the trail makes a hard turn here. If we were to go that way, that's Abbott Ridge. But I think we're gonna try and bushwhack lower down on Treyfoot Mountain to try and gain access to the ridge that will take us to Hall Mountain. Now the plan of attack here is this theoretically was a trail at one point. It's listed on an old, uh, an old topographic map. So theoretically this would be, would give us the best chance of finding a decent route that didn't include 
cliffs or something like that. So uh, let's head into the woods. The mountain laurel is pretty thick here. I think I'm changing my mind. Go back to the trail. We're going to go up uh, a little bit further and see if there's a better path. I can finally see over to the ridge that uh, we want to be on. And it looks like I'm going to have to go a long way through this mountain laurel to get to it. So <sighs> let's change tactics here. Uh, four and a quarter miles in. This looks like we are at the top of what turns into the ridge that leads to Hall Mountain. This is the first time we have a pretty good shot of Hall Mountain in front of us. Uh, that's from the direction we came. I'm not going to lie, it's tough going, but once you get onto the ridge and you can really identify where the ridge is, it gets so much easier. <laughs> it gets so much easier because you know where you're going. And uh, at points there is something that I would define as an actual trail, a herd path, or perhaps it was the remnants of an old trail, but uh, that makes it a lot easier as well. It's overgrown, of course, but gives you a good idea of where to go. We are starting the ascent and it's just jumbled rock so far. So we just climbed up a um, fairly steep rock and uh, now we just need to push on to the summit which is looks like it's going to be pretty easy from here on out. Well, easier than uh, it's been with any luck. Brutal. All right. I lied. There's nothing easier about this. In fact, it's harder. It's just all this damn mountain laurel. That is where we came from. Uh, looks like it's gonna be a pain in the butt to get back there. I finally made it to the summit. Whew. Yes, you're gonna feel like you're on the summit back there, but then you're gonna turn your head and you're gonna realize that this isn't it. In fact, this summit area is, is pretty cool. There are a couple uh, big piles of rocks, uh, three of them that all look to be about the same height. I think the first one you're going to come to is actually the tallest, uh, the one I'm on right now. And uh, yeah, no marker. I didn't see a marker. That's too bad. So I think the, that's the highest point. Some over there, back there, I touched that, doesn't feel higher. This, touch that, doesn't feel higher either. So I've been at it for three hours and uh, 45 minutes, gone five miles, and I feel, <laughs> I feel pretty tired. Um, I'm gonna stick around here for a minute or two and then start heading back because uh, I'm ready for a hamburger <laughs> and a big cold something to drink. All right. I underestimated this, um, more difficult than expected, didn't bring enough water, and um, it's, it's fairly brutal. So uh, keep that in mind if you ever think of doing this. Tray Top Mountain. Almost back to the trail. Very happy about that. Can't tell if it's gonna rain on me soon or... <laughs> What these clouds are going to do. Back up on the trail. Been moving for five hours and 20 minutes. I've gone six miles. And uh, gosh, that was only a mile. That was, that was a lot of work for a mile. Uh, but now I'm heading back. Heading back to uh, parking. And 
and some fast food. Awesome. Unfortunately, we could not avoid the rain, but we're making good time get back to the truck. Made it back to the truck. Uh, today we were moving for six hours and 27 minutes. We covered 9.2 miles. Um, I just underestimated this a little bit. Uh, I thought it would be a little bit easier, but uh, I'm glad that I did it. I'm more glad that I'm done with it. And um, that's what I got for you. So thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later.